Vegetate presents. Welcome to my garden. Hey, this is Wes with Vegetate. Today we're out here in the garden, out in the country. We get to talk with Bob Watson. He's a master gardener for the River Valley. He's been a master gardener for five years. And uh, post some questions online for you guys, and you came through, and Bob answered them for you. Uh, watch, and you'll see my talk, sit down and talk with a true master gardener. Sixty hours of education, and uh, I believe sixty hours of volunteer work the first year. I'm not for sure about the volunteer work. Okay. So you, had to, you had to do the volunteer first, along with the education. education. And then it drops back to whether you have to have 20 hours of volunteer work and 20 hours of uh, volunteer work. Yes. Then you have our mandatory six hours of uh, volunteer work at the Civic Center in Fort Smith. That's mandatory. Right. My most favorite thing to grow for me uh, is vegetables. Uh, there are some master gardeners that uh, love flowers. We have, uh, at the learning field, we have uh, one garden that just wildflowers that are grown in the state of Arkansas. Uh, uh, another gentleman is uh, roses. He has a rose bed. Uh, so there's different things. Uh, there, uh, a couple of ladies have herb gardens. So. There's many things that uh, you could, about anything that you want to grow, you can grow. And you can learn it all? As you can it. learn it all through the Master Gardeners. Me, I can grow potatoes, but the hardest thing that I have quit growing is squash. Because it seems like every I get this big, beautiful squash plant, and I get a beautiful bloom, and I go out the next morning to admire my beautiful squash, and it's dead because of squash beetles. And, and, and so it's, it, it frustrates me. So I don't grow squash. I go to the farmer's market and buy my squash there. It's better for everyone for me to do that. <laughs> yeah. Companion plants. I know, like, for example, marigolds go great with tomatoes. Do you happen to know any with that? Uh, I don't know anything about companion plants, uh, I would suggest that you just go online uh, and Google it and uh, or go to the county agent and they would have a list of uh, things that are... If I was going to uh, make a garden and I absolutely know nothing about it, the first thing I would do uh, would find my location. I would ask myself about my soil. Is it, does it drain well or is it boggy and maintain a lot of water? Uh, I would want a lot of sun. I'd find some place where there is sunny so that my uh, vegetables and things would grow. Uh, so location, uh, I would also want to know what size garden that I would want. Uh, do I want a small one or a big one? Uh, so those would be very important. And then the second thing I would do after I found my location, my size, go in and till and get as much of the roots. I would rake it and get as much of the uh, grass as I could out of my garden. That might take two or three times to do that. Uh, then I would go to the landfill and get compost and uh, get over there and bring and till that into my soil. Then probably the next, the third thing, would go around to five or six different spots with a tablespoon and a baggie and get a soil sample and take to the Agriculture Extension Office and have them to analyze whether I need nitrogen, uh, phosphate, uh, ash, whatever I need, uh, lime. Every garden in Arkansas needs lime. And so, uh, I would bring it up with the minerals and uh, till all of that in. And then I would try to decide 
what I want to plant. There's certain things that needs to be planted at certain times of the year. Uh, turnips is a fall garden, so plant. So uh, you wouldn't want to plant turnips in July. Right. Uh, another thing, uh, certain vegetables uh, and fruits maintain. They have to have a lot of area. Uh, watermelon, cantaloupe, uh, corn. That maintain. That has to have a lot of area. You know, to grow. So I want to know what I want to plant. If I have a small garden, uh, tomatoes. You know, that is something everyone wants, and it is a uh, plant that produces a lot. Uh, onions are a great one. Uh, potatoes. There, it's a small area that produces well. Right. Uh, then also, I would. Uh, there is a list that you can get of what to plant. What month. You can also determine the width between your rows, the distance between the plant in the row, and the depth of your plant. Uh, you can get one of these at your extension office. Uh, then I would also want to uh, know what type of weed control, because you're going to have weeds regardless. You know. It, uh, you're going to have an old garden and you can still have weeds. So you need to so, uh, really get you a good hoe and uh, get rid of your weeds and stay on top of your weeds and not let them overrun everything. Okay. Well, I hope that you liked our video. We had to talk to Bob Watson, a five-year veteran of the Master Gardener Program in the River Valley. Um, if you like these type of things, we hope that you comment, uh, share, or subscribe. And as always, it, it grows, grows things! things. Okay. You say like so boring. Like, it goes down.